I'm getting my six pack back and I'm going to get paid doing it. That's right. I'm going to get paid to get in shape. But how? Two words, sweat, economy. So we're used to the attention economy, something that the institutions flooded money into selling our data for massive returns, which led to everything we see today on social media, advertising, and all the things online. Currently, we're seeing them jump into the physical economy as well because the attention is moving that way. People are realizing that you can't just take a pill for everything. Think about it. Healthcare providers, insurance agencies, employers, countries, governments, they all benefit from our health data. On the consumer end, we get to be more productive, mental health is better, and we get to live longer. Sweat economy is not only gamifying this concept, but they're creating a new asset class that Google can't just take and con you. You earn the tokens and sweat becomes the physical economy's main currency. And you get to decide if you sell your tokens because that's something you weren't afforded and you weren't even given the chance to in the attention economy. They just took your data, didn't give you anything and made a billion dollars off of it. Now I know what you're thinking. Didn't Stepin already do this and didn't it go to zero? Yeah, it did. So why is sweat any different? Well, first sweat came like 10 years before Stepin did. And so they're still going. So that's one point. And it currently has over 150 million users across web two and web three. And it was 2022's number one downloaded health and fitness app. This isn't some sham. This was literally started a decade ago when Bitcoin was the only option. The reason Stepin got nuked is because they charged every new user and the only way to make money was for the next person to lose money. Sweat economy is very different. They have an app and it's free and you can start earning immediately by just starting to walk. I downloaded the premium version because of the benefits. You get like 2x points and a whole bunch of different stuff. Now look at this tweet from Oleg, the founder of Sweat Economy. In the 90s, big money went into digital infrastructure, then into the 2000s to consumer apps, which eventually led us to social media and all that we have today. And for every step in where interest died relatively quick, we have examples of this style of engagement working pretty well. Look at Pokemon Go, wildly, wildly successful. Now I know this wasn't a crypto token attached to it, but the idea of consumer crypto earning by completing tasks is the natural next step. By the way, about a month ago, Sweat Economy did something pretty cool in keeping with the chain abstraction vision of Near Protocol, having a transaction action signed and triggered from near executed on bnb and then paid in sweat token on near protocol all at one time together now we are one step closer to anyone doing anything on any chain and will be frictionless user experience first remember when the apple vision pros came out a couple months ago and people were vacuuming they were earning points and stuff gamifying everyday experiences well that's coming and it's not an if it's a when so sweat economy basically is moving forward with that thesis saying okay when that day is here we're going to be prepared for the masses the app is going to be sleek no bugs we're going to have awesome branding terrific content output content creators lots of initiatives to get people to engage with the app every single week now they're really profitable already with their apps since they have a monthly subscription and tons of people farming it especially Especially in Asia, they've got a massive audience. They're looking to be the primary currency in the movement economy. They've already started building out their branding with a dynamic free NFT game where players can go head to head to earn sweat token. They also have a learn to earn segment where you can earn tokens by completing short lessons and quests. Now, full transparency, there are a bunch of ads specifically on that part of it. So from a user standpoint, I'll just say that there's a lot of ads. And it's true that today you could crush like 10,000 steps and only earn a few cents worth. But if there's one thing I've learned in crypto, it's not to sleep on long term farming. My buddy cool crypto is the king of this and some of the biggest ones were two to three year long plays think about it if you're just walking and running and collecting these points right and in six months a year two years whatever the ecosystem around these coins goes berserk and you realize wow i didn't have to actually do anything i just downloaded this app paid nothing per month and let it just collect points as i went about my life remember to claim your coins at least once every 30 days or else it will evaporate now some things to look forward to that catch my eye are the v2 rewards a sweat game fi experience for something that they're cooking and a referral program by the way, something extra you can do to double farm is once you get your sweat token, and since you're probably going to be holding it long term until the price goes up anyways, you may as well stake it in their growth jars. Earning more sweat, access to better rewards, and a more optimized app experience, low transaction fees, and you'll be entered into these in real life giveaways to give away Teslas, vacations, all sorts of stuff. All you need is a little bit of sweat to get that started. You can also buy sweat directly on their wallet with MoonPay using a debit or credit card, so it's super seamless. Lastly, Sweat Economy just announced their sweat wallet magic keys that are coming soon. Since they're all about the user experience, Experience. They noticed that the self-custodial wallets, while they're really romantic and the idea of crypto, realistically, most people just don't want that level of responsibility. And so they're upgrading their security, integrating Nier's fast auth 
offering to simplify your login experience and make it easier to use the wallet. If something goes wrong and you lose your passphrase, you can enter a nice, easy email authentication. And they even added a double layered security. So even if you lose both your passphrase and your email, you can have a backup seed phrase that you can save yourself with. I'm really interested in projects that are building cool stuff with the user at top of mind. That's not really common nowadays. It also helps that they have an enormous user base currently using it. I'm farming it right now. The majority of it is just sitting in the background of my phone. I don't really log in that often. My goal already just for health benefits was to hit 10,000 steps a day anyways. So we'll check back in a year and see what happens. If you enjoyed this video, like, retweet, and follow for more content. Shout out to Meteor Wallet for sponsoring this video. My personal favorite daily near wallet. Don't forget to claim a Harvest Moon beta access link in the tweet down below. And if you're a Web3 company and you want to work together on content, shoot me a DM or regret it later.